Welcome to Lecture Online. While studying the multiplication tables and try to memorize them, it's a good thing to know when we multiply a number by itself. That's called squaring of a number. For example, when we put an exponent above the number here, 1 squared, and that's how we say it, is the same as 1 times 1. 2 squared is the same as 2 times 2. 3 squared is the same as 3 times 3. 4 squared is the same as 4 times 4, and so forth. And knowing the answer to 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 times 4 really helps us also understand the multiplication tables. So we should try to memorize these as well separately. 1 times 1 is easy. If you only have one of the 1's, that's equal to 1. 2 times 2, 4. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Those should be easy to remember. Now 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 5 is half of 10 times 5, which is 50. Half of 50 is 25. 6 times 6 is 6 times 5, which is 30, plus 6, which is 36. 7 times 7 is 50 minus 1, which is 49. 8 times 8 is 64. 9 times 9 is the same as 10 times 9 minus 9, which is 81. And then I just threw 10 squared in there, 10 times 10, which is equal to 100. So it's a good idea to memorize these outright. So besides also memorizing the multiplication tables, we should memorize 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 times 4, 5 times 5, and so forth, because these come up a lot, and then we can see them. So when we then end up with something like 8 times 8, you right away say, ah, I know what that is, that's 64. 7 times 7, I know what that is, that's 49. So it would be a good idea to memorize this as well. So don't shy away from it. Go ahead and try that. When you have these memorized, you'll find out that arithmetic and mathematics become a whole lot easier to work with. And that's why we do that.